Play Kaninsky is an exploration of Kaninsky's synesthesia. In collaboration with Google Arts and Culture, we use machine learning uh, to imagine what yellow, red, blue uh, would have sounded like to the ears of the artist when he painted it in 1925. The first step in playing at Kaninsky is to learn about Kaninsky's synesthesia and how he heard sounds stimulated by colors and shape. What was like the relation with shape, with color, and also the emotion Kaninsky wanted to translate through his painting? Second step in the experience is to explore how each color, each shape, each point, each plane for Kaninsky were synonym with uh, specific emotions. The third step, once you've um, introduced your own emotions into the painting, the machine uh, will generate a score which you'll be able to share. We trained Google Transformer Neural Network that was developed by the Google Magenta team on music from Kaninsky's time and invited this machine to generate new scores to form a new perspective on what the painting may sound like from today's point of view. We used machine learning first as, a, as an archaeological tool. Uh, the initial idea was to dive into Kaninsky's music collection and try and generate new perspectives on the music he may have uh, heard at the time. I had like the feeling I had like the, the privilege to talk with Kandinsky directly, you know, and, uh, or like a, a proposition of Kandinsky made by the AI. By inviting the machine to express itself, the music kind of emerged by itself and it felt that as artists we were more the intermediary from Kandinsky's time to today rather than uh, the interpreters of the theory uh, ourselves and that was very exciting.